Our Patreon pick for this week was the 2017 film Logan, as requested by uh, Netigant. Thank you for the Patreon pick. This was your first pick ever. Woo-hoo! And by first pick ever, I mean this is your first pick that was picked ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tanner, you seem like the type of person that wants to give a synopsis of this film. Dude, I can't wait to give a synopsis of Logan. Okay, Logan is about Wolverine, also called Logan, because that's his name. Uh, He is an old man now. He is so old and beat up, and God, he just, he he looks like he wants to die in every single uh, frame of this movie. Uh, We find out that he is saving up money and taking care of Professor X over in Mexico. Uh, cause he, cause Professor X had a seizure and, uh, killed a bunch of people several years ago, and now he is constantly at risk of these seizures, which endanger the lives of people around him. Uh, we find out that there is a mysterious girl who is a clone of Wolverine, that Wolverine must now help, because, uh, mutants no longer exist. Uh, and then over time, we uh, they are tracked down by the company that made her, and it's a race against time as they try to escape them and get to North Dakota. Uh, along the way, Professor X dies. We find out that this company is also the ones who actually made it so that mutants stop happening, and then uh, all the bad guys die, and so does Wolverine, the end. And now my haiku, as Whoa. inspired by Logan, all mutants are gone. Logan and X wait to die. Save a new mutant. Why'd they give the black boy electric powers? Why did they give the black guy because electric it's, powers? Because it's Storm's genetic offspring. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, uh, I don't know if they're, cl- they're Are they clones? I thought they said they just took the genetic code from the mutants and implanted them into young Mexican Same difference. Girls. I don't think that's... I typically use that They're phrase. using their genetic material to make a new version of them. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, it's been a anyway. while since I watched this movie. Uh, oh yeah, I was I was mentioning this before. Uh, so just for the audience, this was the first week in which I had seen all the movies prior, and I almost didn't watch any of them because I thought I could recall them by perfect memory. Uh, but you all know how my memory you should be is, watching so. the movies even if you can recall them by perfect memory. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyway, but yeah, I mean, I. I, I don't know why I watch this movie primarily, because I was never huge into X-Men. Um, and I believe X-Men, like, happens in the same universe as, like, the Marvel and everything, no. right? Like, all the... Yeah. No? Well, I mean, like, Aren't, you know, well, in the comics, still... not the movies. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, but there's still... it's still, yeah. But, I mean, I remember watching this the first time, and I didn't really understand what was going on, because I didn't understand how X-Men was. Like, I, I, I was unsure how... The timeline unfolded. Um, this movie, to be honest, the filmmakers all don't really know either. It seems like. <laughs> oh, is that is that a detriment to this movie? Am I am I missing no. something here? No. No. Just the okay. rest of X Men movies. This one's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this movie is also incredibly gory. Uh, like, not only when they introduce the girl and she just like walks out of the barn <laughs> with that guy's head, but just also the fact that they just decide to off this nice like farm family that they house with in the middle of the movie for seemingly no reason like i get there's supposed to be tension but like i don't know i don't i feel like in any other movie if there's like a house that's or like some people that are housing our protagonists they don't all just die and they're just like it's waved away kind of thing you know it was kind of a shock to my system but i don't know i thought i thought the movie was pretty good overall just for not being into x-men um i don't know why they had the little girl, girl mute the entire time, and also, why did none of the other kids also have Hispanic accents, aside, like, with them being also growing up in Mexico? Did they not? Th- no. <laughs> it was just I don't think the most of them really girl. talked is the thing, so... Right. Uh, the ones that did talk didn't have the accents, though, so it's a minor thing. I feel it like they matter. did, uh, but anyway... Uh, uh, don't I was expecting how... him to sound like, Hey, Wolverine, I can't wait to yeah, see how exactly. you take out the bad guy, man! Mr. Logan! <laughs> you guys are horribly contextualizing um, what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, I like how gory this movie is. I- I'm glad that, you know, um... The guy with knives on his hands is finally able to <laughs> fucking cut people up. Yeah. yeah that... It is very funny how, like, um, the other... I've seen all of the X-Men movies, shockingly enough, and, shockingly. uh... They are very schlocky, they're very silly, and whatever, and then this comes out of nowhere and, uh, really kind of blows pretty much all of them out of the water. Pretty um, much all of them. <laughs> Yeah, blows fine. Whatever, it blows all of them out. Of the water. There we go. 
Tanner really yeah. likes X-Men Days of Future Past. <laughs> yeah, Days of Future Past. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I'm a big The New Mutants fan. Um, <laughs> fucking... I've never seen that one. Did that even ever come out? Yes, it did. Okay, I remember seeing the fucking... Uh, a bunch of trailers for it, and then just I heard nothing. I think it was yeah. in development hell for a bit. I think it secretly came out on streaming, like, during COVID or some oh, shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't think it ever saw theaters. I'm pretty okay. sure. Well, that's but fine. uh yeah, this what's nice about this movie um is that it does stand very much on its own. I think it does give plenty of context for what's happened in the world. I I I suppose you you would be very well served at knowing what the X-Men and what mutants are. Uh but aside for that from that uh I think you don't really need too much information going into it. Um, the, a big, the, the main downside for me, I think, is, uh, the kids, ironically. I think they're goofy, and this really should have been just Laura and Yeah, uh, the Logan. other kids are really fucking stupid. Especially yeah. the part where, like, you know, they're fucking killing that, like, final dude, and they're just, like, standing over him with their hands outstretched. It looks so stupid. Yeah, that yeah. looks so dumb and awkward. I was gonna say... That whole end sequence was pretty... Like, the part where Wolverine and Laura were fighting the Wolverine clone, I thought that was pretty good. I, I didn't think that was bad. What was bad for me is I am sitting here knowing that all of these kids have the powers of all the other X-Men, like uh, Storm, whatever Frost guy, probably the guy who shoots lasers out of his face, uh, Cyclops, that guy. They all have these powers. However, when it comes, to, and I get these are highly trained military guys, but we've seen Laura fuck up these soldiers the entire movie, so that's not an excuse. They're, like, running from these soldiers, and when they finally get captured, only a few of them are able to take down maybe one guy. Like, all of these kids should be fully capable, and I guess the other aspect is, uh, do they want to do it? They should all be fully capable of taking down this army of soldiers. So, the fact that they're getting yeah. captured and not able to do anything about it, I think is bullshit, but... Yeah, the presence of the uh, other kids really highlights how strangely competent Laura is. Mm -hmm. Like, she's just so... Like, if it was just her and not the other kids, the fact that she's so good at fighting and whatever, it's like, ah, fuck, she's got, you know, Wolverine instincts or whatever. But, like, now that we have the other kids to compare her to, we're like, why is she so good at fucking them up? Huh? She spent all of her time training in her cell, dude. She'd just be doing fucking yeah. backflips and shit off of that constantly. <laughs> While they were doing the Rubik's Cube, she was studying the blade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could be the same thing, though. It's like, oh, well, she's got Wolverine, so of course she's good at fighting and all that. But still, it's it's just, why give the kids powers and show that they have powers if they're literally... It goes back to my personal view where it's like, if a person has powers, why would you give them to them and not have them show it off? Like, that's just pointless. Mm -hmm. You're you're putting, uh, what do you guys call it? Chekhov's gun? Does that count in this scenario? I, I kind of say so, because, like, they do use their powers, but it's like, yeah, they, they use, use it on one guy and yeah, then get tackled. <laughs> they did that, know. like, four times in a row or some bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I like the part where the one girl made the guy explode from nature or whatever that was. That was pretty funny. Yeah. That was, it was sure was something. Um, <laughs> aside ignoring the kids, uh, performances all around really good. Uh, I liked Caliban. I liked Professor X. I liked Logan. Um, I think with Laura, I think her flip where she does, you know, she suddenly starts talking and then really kind of taking control of their you know, mission going forward where she's, like, driving the truck and, like, basically taking care of him, it it really does kind of feel out of nowhere for me. Um, I get that, like, what they're trying to do is, like, oh, she was, like, playing low-key and, like, keeping herself guarded or whatever up to that point, but I, I don't think they pull it off uh, as well as you'd probably want them to. Yeah, uh, I mean... I don't fully disagree with you, but I think the mental switch happened when Professor X died. Because that's where oh, it yeah, happened. I know when it happened. I'm saying I, I didn't find the switch it, yeah. uh, particularly convincing. Yeah, they really threw the audience into the deep end on that one. It was it was kind of un, just unnatural. Unnatural isn't the word for it. Mm -hmm. Non-organic, however you guys yeah. say it. But, uh, yeah. They had to hurry things along because they were reaching the end of the movie, so... I don't know. Jackson, you were particularly quiet for this. Do hey, you have anything in particular to say? 
Um, I thought this movie was all right. I think I enjoyed it for most of it, and then the ending was really goofy, and a lot of it is very predictable, which is kind of a downside to me. <clears throat> it is generally, for my opinion, kind of just like a well-shot, well-acted, uh, generic action movie. Um, I didn't like the kids at all. Um, I thought Laura was probably my least favorite part of the movie. Um, every time she was doing any action bullshit, it was just really fucking goofy. And as you know, you guys were talking and alluding to earlier, just the uh, the thought of her being able to pull off any of this shit um, is very unbelievable to me, just from a baseline. Uh, yeah, I think it's an all right movie. I don't really have a ton to say about it, to be completely honest. Mm. Okay. I definitely liked it better than the first time I watched it. Oh, well, there we says go. Anything. That's good to hear. Right. Yeah, I know that Tanner mentioned that, like, compared to the other X Men movies, this one definitely has a very different feel to it. But just compared to like every other superhero movie that we've really had up until now, most of them kind of just follow the generic Marvel formula, and that's about it. Like the only one that's really broken the mold in that way has been like Deadpool, which takes like the whole mature thing in a very different direction. <laughs> Whereas you know this one is definitely uh, much darker in its themes and it just the uh, overall conflict that we see throughout it, as well as like you know. Uh, this film is shockingly tense in several parts as well. Like, uh, when he's fucking, like, trying to climb back to the hotel room to, like, help out Professor X or whatever the fuck. Like, that shit had me just holding my breath. And then once they finally, like, you know, got everything going right, you know, he injects that fucking syringe into him. It's like, oh, I can finally breathe again. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. My heart. <laughs> Which I thought was just so well done. I, I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. And with that, boys, Tanner, what do you think you're going to be writing this one, man? Uh, I'm going to give this one an A+. Plus. I'll second that motion. Okay, Jackson, how about you? Uh, I gave it an A-. Minus. A-, minus. holy smokes, I'm giving an A. There we go. I think that lands A+. Plus. No, it doesn't. It lands at it A. It definitely doesn't. It lands at an A. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I figured that... Oh, never mind. Fair enough. I think that's a pretty good score for this one. Solid. Yeah, I think that fits pretty well, generally. Can't wait to watch uh, X-Men 3, which I think is the one where uh, Storm says, you know what happens to a toad in a lightning storm? <laughs> Same thing to everything else or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, minor, minor detail. This is a very minor detail. I don't even know if it was like totally intended. Um, but I do like the, uh, the fights between uh logan and fucking copy of logan dude i don't know what his name is mm. um specifically just with the way that um logan sp wins those fights by outsmarting him for the most part and you can see him do a lot more like he's like using his environment more rather than you know the, the fucking copy clone mm -hmm. of him is yeah. primarily just using like brute force and his like strength yeah. to overrun him which i think is cool you know they didn't like yeah. call action to it or anything it's just like a subtle detail that did it and that, that movie definitely has a lot of stuff like that um which i can appreciate yeah Shows us years of experience are able to pull one over on this guy. True. Mm. Here's a fun little bit of misinformation for you guys. Uh, for whatever reason, when I first saw this, I was convinced that uh, Clone Logan, Clogan as he shall now be known, uh, was played by Lee Schreiber. Uh, and that just isn't true. It's just Hugh Jackman with de-aging uh, CGI on him. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I think they should have... Uh, I, th I think they should have made uh, it Lieb Schreiber, though. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I say that because he's the actor who plays Sabretooth. Whoa. Okay. He's Wolverine's brother. Yeah. Slash torturer. Yeah. Also, I don't think... Are they brothers? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're brothers. I'll look I it think up they're brothers in some continuities and not in others. I'll look it up in my book later.